Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for three programming questions of week 1 assignment in the course of introduction to programming in C. So let's see the first questions. Write a program to find if the item is affordable. When the item is affordable, it means that the price of the item is less than or equal to the money we have. So I'm going to write the program. You can just uh, parallelly do it in your compiler. So I'll try to zoom this for you. So I hope the screen is visible. And next I am going to write the main function. In that I am going to initialize this. I mean uh, declaring the required variables. In 100, 10, 1 and the other variable price. So these are all integers. And I'm going to read these values. So I'm using scanf. Scanf. Uh, here percentage d represents the integer values we have to read. So, so here we, we have to read four values. So I'm using four times of this. Percent d. I'm closing this, and I'm going to. Uh, read these values in the order that I want so ampersand 100 ampersand 10 ampersand 1 and ampersand price so here, here comes the condition if price less than 100 into 100 integer plus 10 into 10 integer plus 1 there is no need to multiply with 1 because anything multiply by 1 gives the same answer so if you want for understanding purpose we can write this I'm closing the brackets remember to keep brackets uh, equally that means how many uh, beginning braces you have given try to same that with the closing braces also So I'm going if the following condition applies, then we have to print by using printf option. Sorry, the output one. So if the above condition works, then it is if it is affordable. That means if, if we have money greater than the price or equal to that of the price of the article, then we should output one. Or we can directly print one. There is no need to use this. We can directly print one. Else, otherwise, that means if we do not have the price amount with us, then it comes under else case. Else, we have to print zero. And there is no need to use this flower bracket here so I am closing this because there is single statement so I am going to close this brace so friends this is the program here 100 is the variable so
so if you have 200 200 rupee notes then we can multiply 2 into 100 200 like that if you have 5 10 rupee notes 5 into 10 the value will be 50 like that so if, if we have uh, the amount greater than the cost of the cost price of that uh, article then we have affordable money that means we have to print one otherwise zero so let's see the output so i'm going to click here so let's see the test cases are passed so i'm submitting this and let's go to second question so here they are asking check whether m is an exact multiple of n without using loops so let's take two positive integers if we divide m with n then we we have to output zero otherwise one so I am going to do this, I will again zoom that for your convenience. So taking the header, and next taking the main function. So first we have to read two variables, int and m comma n so they are saying that m and n are positive integers so i'm taking the logic if this is not mandatory in most cases but according to the given statements or constraints i'm taking that if m greater than zero here we have the symbol ampersand ampersand it means if both the conditions are obeying then only if m, m greater than 0 m percent m percent n greater than 0 that means if both m and n are greater than 0 only then this con condition applies so if m and n greater than 0 then scan f we are reading the two variables first of all so person d space person d m percent m comma m percent n and closing this so what is meaning by exact multiple so, uh, suppose uh, 2 is an exact multiple of 4 that means if we divide 4 with 2 then we will get 0 remainder and also 6 and 3 are exact uh, multiples then we will get 0 as reminder so if we get 0 as reminder then it means if they are exactly divisible so to represent uh, reminder we, here we will use percent symbol so if m percent n it means if m is divided by n if it gives zero reminder that means m percent n is equal to is equal to zero the, the two equal symbols represent if the value is so m percent n value is 0 then m is divisible by n here we will uh, print the output as 1 because here the question says that if m divides exactly by n then print 1 so I am printing 1 else it means if m is not exactly divisible by n then print 0 so I am printing 0 and closing the condition and also the main function so friends this is the program so let's see how it works So I am going to compile this. So friends here you can see that both test cases are passed. 
so let's move on to the third question and final question of this week so third question here they give three integers a b and c if they are strictly increasing or decreasing order then we have to output one strictly increasing means a greater than b greater than c or decreasing means a less than b less than c if anything of these two then we should print one if they are not in uh, order i mean order the, uh, it may be increasing or decreasing then it should print zero i will show you this i will again zoom this first of all yeah you can see this hash include so taking the main function let's read the three variables i mean let's de declare the three variables a b and c next we should read those three variables scan app person d here we have three variables so three times and closing this and the order a b c so here the condition comes and most important part of this program if here strictly increasing or strictly decreasing we can mention like this there is uh, strictly means there is a continuous flow of increasing or decreasing so if here we will get two conditions so i am taking again a brace if a greater than b and b greater than c that means a greater than b greater than c that is a strictly decreasing order and also anything of the increasing or decreasing may be taken as single one so i am using two pipe symbol here the pipes represent any of left or right condition works then the output will be the following one like that so here we took first of all we have taken the decreasing condition and now we will take increasing strictly increasing condition a less than b and b less than c that means a less than b less than c here it is increasing order strictly increasing order so if any of both conditions is obeyed then we should print output as 1 else we should print the output as zero and we are closing this main function so friends this is the program let's see how it works so let's compile this yeah if you see this the status is passed so these is these are the arc solutions for these programs so if you'll find this video helpful please subscribe our channel like this video and share it to your friends uh, keep supporting our channel for further videos and assignments that we upload in this channel so until then be safe be happy